From a, a Hard Rock perspective, really the EU legislation 2014 um, highlighting the 14 main allergens, um, we, did, we, you know, we looked at that from, from two different aspects. From first of all, ourselves as a company and how we would take that forward, how we'd create the journey from the legislation through to the training, but also we had to focus on the consumer aspects because the information is given so the consumer knows that they can come dine and eat in a safe environment for us with Hard Rock. The first key stage for us was, was, was training and compliance. Um, there's obviously an awareness for the allergens and the free from. So we did it in two stages. The first stage was obviously with key management and the structure there. So we're very fortunate that we have a food management system. So we went to the company that looks after that food management system and along with the FSA, they provided the training for our managers to be compliant with all the allergen regulations. But the key aspect there really is taking that back to the unit and training the staff it's the frontline staff that provide the food, provide the service for the guest, and they need to know that they can walk into an environment that's safe and healthy for them to do so. So we did it in different stages. First of all, the management structure and how they're gonna get trained. We then, behind that, put a very healthy structure together for our training for our hourly staff, which we rolled out to all of our back of house staff and our front of house staff. So from procurement to production to service, the elements were the same and people had the same information when they were guest focused, whether that's with the food we produced or the service we provided. With the work with the allergens, obviously then came a natural progression into a gluten-free menu. We recognised this quite quickly and decided we were going to get with a reputable company. So we used Celiac UK, one of the best known companies in the UK for recognising gluten-free dietary needs. They suggested we broke down the training and broke down the prospects in three different aspects. The first aspect was making sure we had the proper functionality in our kitchens to be able to divide them to provide a gluten-free menu on request. The second aspect was the training. We took every back of house member and every front of house member for a certain training and logistics schemes. We then, the third aspect, complied with testing. So we made sure that our gluten-free items were less than 20 parts per million so that we could roll them out to the guest, subsequently knowing that back of house and front of house, our staff were trained, had the information and the correct tools to provide the correct guest choice when they came in with their allergen of being gluten-free. Leading from the rollout, the training from the gluten-free menu, um, I guess the you know, three most important aspects to consider. The first one is that you constantly update yourself with the information. Creating great relationships with either your food management company, the FSA, or a company like Celiac UK will ensure that we get the information that we need to constantly keep ahead. Second of all these guest facing and consumer metrics. Ours have gone through the roof. Select UK came in and they audited the cafes and gave all four UK cafes an A star. That means we've got the correct procedures, but we still have to tell our guests about that. So it's forward facing on our internet and our website. We make sure we have clearly labeled displays of Select and gluten free and allergens in all the cafes. We have done different events with our rewards members and we have obviously had bloggers, social media and some digital marketing around it. And the final thing really is now we're looking forward to rolling this out into the rest of Europe. <music>